bee pollen. <laughs> yeah, bee pollen. Look at that. Check that out. Check that out, man. All right. You know, bees make more than just honey. They also make a waxy substance called uh, propolis. And this bee glue is a powerful, fantastic cocktail of nutrients, making it an ideal source of energy. Bee pollen contains proteins and vitamins with lots of healthy carbohydrates. It also has antifungal and antiviral powers. It can help heal burns. And believe it or not, it can help prevent dental cavities by limiting bacterial plaque. Preliminary trials show propolis may eliminate parasites. It can help you breathe better too. The antioxidants fight any potential or existing inflammation. The list goes on and on from reducing symptoms of allergies, wart removal, to genital herpes. Bee pollen. Mm. That's good shit. <laughs> Anyway. I shouldn't have been uh, chewing and trying to speak. Hang on. So, for this episode of Simply Syrups, I thought we'd combine uh, some chamomile and uh, bee pollen and see what we get. I've never, uh, I've never made this before, but I eat this every day. And I figure chamomile, bee pollen, it's gonna taste great. So let's give it a go. I've got one cup of clean water in our pot. I guess we need some fire too, don't we? So we're just gonna get this, bring this up to a boil. And in the meantime, I am going to rind some orange peel here, trying to mine the white pith, because again, that's a little bitter. How much? I don't know. I'm kind of making it up as I go. <laughs> no, I figure maybe about a half, uh, half an orange rind or rind from a half an orange, yeah. Okay, we are boiling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my heat. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of bee pollen to my hot water. Might be a little excessive, but. <laughs> and we're just gonna stir that up to dissolve all that bee pollen. Nice. Interesting color, eh? I should do a bee pollen tincture. Hmm, that's a thought. A honey! I've got a quarter cup of honey here. Oh yeah. I like honey. Honey pie, you are driving me crazy. Sweet. <laughs> exactly sweet. And a half a cup of turbinado uh, cane sugar, organic. We're gonna blend that all in there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's looking mighty fine. All right, I've got five cardamom pods and I'm just gonna crush those up. Get all those seeds out of there. And throw those in the pot. <laughs> My orange that I uh, rind it, we're gonna throw that in the pot. And chamomile flowers. Chamomile contains antioxidants that may promote sleepiness. And drinking chamomile tea has shown to improve overall sleep quality. Chamomile tea may protect against diarrhea, stomach ulcers, nausea, and gas, likely due to its anti-inflammatory effects. The anti-inflammatory effects of chamomile tea may promote blood sugar control, especially when it's consumed with a meal. I've got 10 of them, and 10 tea bags, that is. Um, what makes this nice, the only ingredient in these tea bags is chamomile, flowers, that's it. So what we want to do is uh, get our little hot plate here, bring it over here, pop a lid on, and let it steep for 30 minutes 
um, or until it's like nice and cool. Okay, room temp. See you in 30 minutes. Well, it's been uh, 30 minutes now. Mm. Let's check our mix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? Wow, wow, that smells, that smells great. Really cool, kind of floral. Getting a little of the orange in there too. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove uh, the tea bags here. All 10 of them. All the solids, basically. So now what we're going to do is um, we're just going to uh, maybe transfer it into this uh, measuring cup here and uh, just strain it out. What a wonderful color, eh? Isn't that neat? About it right there okay so all we got to do now is bottle it <laughs> wonderful golden color isn't it and we end up with near a cup like we started with and fortify it with a couple ounces of uh, vodka here Perfect. <laughs> give it a little shake and give it a little try. Oh, oh. Ha <laughs> ha. That looks great, doesn't it? Wow. Wow, that's really different. It um, definitely honey flooding it. Like the uh, the bee pollen is coming through like 90. I have some more. <laughs> and the flowers, the uh, chamomile flowers that we used, they're there too, a little more in the background. It almost tastes like my, uh, my mother's uh, snickerdoodles. She makes these cookies and there's a little bit of, um, I don't know, sweet honey kind of cookies. I'm not sure how to describe them, but this is awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, very, very soon, we are going to uh, make a, uh, a cocktail with our chamomile bee pollen syrup. You notice too, it's not overly thick, which is what I like too. I'm gonna have some more. Sorry. <laughs> you know, if you make this, um, you'll probably get about two weeks in the fridge with it. Um, with the vodka, add it, you'll probably get close to a month, okay? Wow. I'm probably gonna end up drinking the whole darn thing um, before we get around to making a cocktail with it. It's that good. <laughs> Give it a go. <laughs> Make the chamomile bee pollen syrup or bee pollen chamomile syrup, whatever you want to call it. It's delicious! Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you.